got it. Watch me. Here's to you. Mmm. Caffeine. I need it. It's Wednesday, January 25th, 2012. It is 5.57 in the p.m. Current temperature is 31. Are you kidding me? 31? How about that? It was above freezing today. Hopefully that means the snow is gone and then it won't be icy on the way home. 31. Obviously, I haven't looked at the temperature all day. I've actually been working today. I, I don't advise it. It's no fun and no way to get through life. Show off my work shirt. I seriously considered, and I'm actually still considering. Take a look at this. You see that? See that? Right here? The ones that come out now are white. Very obvious. It's like, I don't, there's always hairs in there, but like, when they're white, they're really blatant. And I found some tweezers, and I was thinking I would do, do like a live hair extraction to gross you out, to see if you'd watch. I'm still kind of, I don't know if I can, let's see if I can get it. That's not it. It's, ow! Did I get it? Did I just poke my nose? It's harder because, ah, uh, forgive me. I need a mirror for it. When, when I'm looking at my own picture, it's not mirrored, so like nothing is where I expect it to be. All right, here we go. Ready? Ready? Ah! I got two. Can you see them? I did the special. I went back to the larger picture for the better quality so we could see my two white nose hairs. The bonus is, if I do it correctly, I will, I will force myself to sneeze very soon now because for some reason that always gets the wrong nerve. Anyway, cat imitation for you. That's what they do. Anyway, welcome to number 17. It's come to this. Pulling hairs out of my nose. We're all older now, babe. Uh, I was thinking about that. You know how high my hair goes now? It's like, if I didn't have long hair, I don't have the bald spot in the back, but I do have, like, really high, it's like Shawn Michaels hair, right? Where, like, you get the big, probably, area where you get, like, the monk halo. I, I know I'm just ruining what you think of me and your perception of me. It's just the young, vibrant, exciting, charismatic, uh, I have a kind of a weird charisma, I will admit. I'm old, man. Anyway, I feel the hits going up even as we speak. Actually, I, I feel people tuning out even as we speak. Uh, it's now 6 o'clock. Let's uh, tell you the story yesterday. I was watching State of the Union, and oh, apparently there's a meeting in half an hour. I wonder if I'm going to be here for that. That can't be right. Well, enough of that. Anyway, <clears throat> yesterday I was watching the State of the Union, and we got a call. And we have caller ID, so uh, I saw it said Embark Payphone, and Embark was spelled with a Q, and I guess that means Nevada because it was from area code 702. So I let the machine pick it up, and it was one of those, if you'd like to accept the charges on this collect call, and it came up in the middle of it, so like I guess they didn't wait for the answering machine to finish its spiel before it started, but it looped two or three times. And it was some dude who mumbled, but he was a convict at the correctional facility in Clark County, and if I wanted to accept the charges, I could press the button, or I could decline by pressing another button. I couldn't do any of that, of course, because the answering machine was handling the call, but I thought about it. I thought about picking it up, and I didn't. And obviously, you know, it's people randomly dialing numbers from prison. <laughs> that can't be a good idea. And yet, I was intrigued. But I posted a note on Facebook. And if you don't follow me on Facebook, uh, you can find that link at crz.net. Uh, I asked, did I miss an opportunity by not accepting those charges? Uh, I got four answers. One was, yes, you missed the opportunity. Well, thanks. One was a guy saying, I need SIGs. That was from Frank. So that's probably what would have happened if I had accepted. Would I have sent him some SIGs? No. Can you mail SIGs across state lines anyway? Yeah, if you don't declare it, probably. 
Uh, a, a co-worker asks, what would Snooki have done? Snooki probably would have accepted the charges and let MTV pay for it. And Cheryl said, believe me, you're missing nothing. I used to take those calls. <laughs> I, I don't know how many convicts Cheryl has talked to, but that's very amusing to me for some reason. And I don't know if it's more amusing because of Cheryl or because of the convict or just the combination of thereof, but that's delightful. Thank you for answering. Once again, you miss out on treats like this. Although if I'm just going to read them to you, why follow me on Facebook if I'm just going to use it as content for videos, right? Moving to the W, Mike asks about the Taco Bell bong, which seems to go off because inevitably I'm taping when it goes off. I have it as an alert. I was going to play it for you now, only I can't find it. And I didn't plan ahead, so of course you won't hear it. But it's actually an alert to go off uh, at 38 after the hour while I'm here. And the reason for that is the driver of the number 38 Taco Bell car, David Gilliland, who is a favorite of mine, it's just a way to remember. Plus it's cool, and it always throws people off guard when it goes off when they're in here talking to me. Where the heck is it? Wow, this is so not worth the effort I'm putting into it now. And yet, once I've started, i got to finish. So, Taco Bell. Taco Bell bomb. Play it, man. Let's hear it. Come on. No? Well, maybe tomorrow. There it is. How long can it take to open a file? All right. Well, anyway, 38 after the hour is usually when you hear it. Or right now. Right in. Very poor. All right. So I'll start talking about something else, and that will make it work. Uh, let's see. What do we talk about? Pie Man, nothing. No, not going to talk about it. There it was. And it was too quiet to hear anyway. What was the point? Man. Can I do it again? This was a bad idea. Very loud. Weak. Sorry about that. Lee says that this is pretty much what hanging out with me is like in person, only I answer in real time, I guess as opposed to video delay. I think what my sister is saying is that I tend to carry on conversations oblivious to everyone around me, because if it's just like, if I'm just like that in real life, obviously I'm not paying attention to those around me and just talking like this. I don't know. I think I'm quieter when there are other people around, because I like to let them talk and make faces in reaction to what they're saying. But Aaron hasn't listened to the Nidosaur CD because he apparently doesn't have a CD player in the world or in his computer. I find that hard to believe, but we'll roll with it. A lot of people talking about their representative or congressperson or senator tweeting during the State of the Union. And I checked some lists on Twitter while I was watching the speech. And apparently Keith Ellison isn't the only one, although he did tweet a lot. But there are four, you know, there weren't a lot either, though. There were about a dozen probably that were doing it. I still think it's a bad idea, but I'm not a congressperson, so who cares? Hello, Haz. Thank you for the message. Hello, JJ Dean. I'll answer your question about my hair tomorrow. Let me tell you about the hairs on my nose, though. No, but we're coming up on 10 minutes, and I need to spend a half an hour uploading this gargantuan video file. So again, thank you for sitting this far. Thank you for sitting through me attempting to load the Taco Bell sound. I'm sure I'll have it ready next time. But uh, that's it. I'll see you tomorrow, uh, I hope. Bye.